Hey guys, this is PD. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm going to do something a little different today. I wanted to share with you um, a little bit of a HUD optimization that I don't think a lot of players take advantage of. And uh, also, uh, I suppose, class switching. Uh, something about not cluttering your, cluttering your HUD um, and playing each role optimally in difficult content. So if you're a Savage Raider, you might find this helpful to you. Um, so I have a macro here. Uh, I've put it over here on my F tab is what I like to call it. I just press these F buttons to run uh, certain commands that I share between all classes. So if I hit F3, I have this little search button. Um, or if I click it, I have all my jobs come up here. And you can normally go into your gear sets list and just drag them onto your hotbar like this. And you can switch to that class. Um, instead, what I've done Instead, what I've done is, let's just go to add a macro, sure. I've created a list of macros here that uh, basically change my HUD depending on the class I'm going to play. Um, it also, um, I did a little bit of uh, hotbar copying to uh, replace this bar with um, the same exact bar except the closed job menu. So I'll kind of walk through how all this works and you can have a really clean solution for changing jobs and playing different roles. Uh, why is it important to have different HUD layouts depending on your role? Because depending on your role, what is important to your class uh, changes very greatly. Uh, if I just change the healer here, it'll become very clear what I'm talking about. Um, so I changed the healer and my party list uh, is more centered to the screen. In general, when you play a class, you want your uh, the important things to playing your class towards the center of your screen where it's your eyes are generally focused. Um, you bring that stuff towards the center when you're DPS. You don't care about your party list as much. It's not very relevant. Uh, there's only a few skills you have that target them. So it's better off over in the side of the screen, perhaps at a smaller mag magnification, for example. Um, if I can show you an example, if I click this party list, you can uh, go in here and change the element size here if you wish to do something like that. But notice how in this HUD layout, I have my alliance list and party list brought a little bit closer to the middle here. And focus target bar is also very, very important uh, for healers because you want to be able to see what the boss is doing while you're um, managing you know, your party targets, for example. Um, that's one thing. If you YouTube search White Mage, World First, Savage, Clear, FFX IV, nearly every result will show from the White Mage point of view that they have either a centered party list or and or uh, element size magnified party list. Um, so if this is something you're interested in employing in your game and making it seamless and easy to do, then this video will help you do that. So this is what my DPS HUD layout looks like right here. Um, you'll notice party list is over on the side. Alliance list has been made much smaller. It's not very relevant to have alliance lists even shown at all necessarily. Just you don't want to know the status of your alliance, how many people are dead at best. Um, so that's much smaller. Focus targets used a lot less because you're frequently targeting the boss. So I've made that a lot smaller um, and that sort of thing. Um, another thing I want to show you is uh, how you can uh, detach target info. Uh, you can kind of separate it out. So if I go to target info here and I go to UI element settings, um, this by default is unchecked, display target info independently. Uh, I have noticed myself, you guys don't have to use this tip, but that the target info progress bar is one of the most important characteristics uh, of a target in Savage Rating. What a target is casting tells you what you should be doing. If you miss what a target is casting or don't react in time, you're often dead. Um, dying is one of the worst things you could do in a Savage Raid, so this means it's one of the most important pieces of information. Um, so what I've done is uh, I've decided to display target info independently and upload up its uh, element size to max, um, and I've uh, been able I can put it anywhere on the screen that I want. So perhaps when you do your HUD layout and you want to just maximize your target info bar, um, you don't need a giant HP bar, for example, because if that were 200% size, it'll cover your whole screen, and that's not really that important. But making the progress bar a little bigger um, from your uh, boss opponent might be all you care about. And that's what I've done. I place it here. If you notice when I do a fight, you'll notice that the uh, 
the cast part comes up here. This is a very fast cast, but I'm not going to miss anything being cast on me with it being this big and being this close to my hotbars and this close to the center of my screen. Um, so with this being very relevant information, I recommend you make that stuff bigger where it's relevant, whatever's helpful for you to know bigger, more centered on the screen and whatever's less helpful for you to know off to the side. Um, maybe a little farther away, like the party list, for example, for DPS. So I'll just talk a little bit about the requirements here. Uh, you'll need two jobs that you don't use in order for this to work. Um, if you have everything leveled up, that's super easy because you can use ARR base class jobs. Uh, in my case, I use Conjure and uh, Arcanist to do this. So you just want two hotbars that you don't use. Uh, if you don't use uh, like any of the hotbar, like nine and 10, for example, you can also use those. Um, but I use basically all those. And if you are don't want to use that real estate on your HUD and you want, you need extra hotbars to use, uh, to store hotbars, you can use the, uh, base class, uh, first bar hotbars. They're extra storage locations, if you will. Okay. So you need two classes you don't use, um, basically two hotbars available. And you also need f uh, one HUD layout. So when I press F3 to switch to my jobs, uh, this is a different HUD layout. This is my HUD layout for um, what I do is I disable my actions here. You don't need to do that if you don't want to. I could turn them on so that you can, I can still see my abilities. And I have a HUD layout here for changing jobs to orient my hotbar seven, six and five um, such that I can see all the jobs I could want to change to. And then I have HUD layout three. Uh, for my healer and HUD layout one for my DPS. HUD layout two, I believe, is for crafters, but I don't have it any different from my uh, DPS right now, except for showing the experience bar so I can see what my job is. Let's just go a little bit in depth into what the macro is actually doing. If I let's look at the white mage macro itself. So I have it switching to gear set five. Uh, so gear slash gear set change five, and I'll put this macro in the description. Um, if I go into my list here, I just ordered my macros. I can go ahead and like re reassign set number right here by right clicking and I can put it, what it is. I just put each class in the orientation that you see on your classes jobs page. So Paladin, Warrior, Dark Knight, Gunbreaker, and White Mage is number five. So here in my gear set list, if I can open that up again, I have White Mage at spot five uh, and that way. And I just organize my hotbars uh, in the same manner uh, also. Uh, is I can just switch easily find the class I want to switch to have the appropriate macro and set it up with the appropriate gear set that I should expect it to be on um, and then do slash HUD layout three because I want to use layout three which is my uh, healer HUD and then uh, this last command is optional but if you want to be able to close the job change uh, menu by pressing uh, your same hotkey, in my case F3, you'll need to do this hotbar copy. So if you notice, when I press F3 here, um, my my bar gets replaced. Um, it's a little bit out of date, but uh, some other things are changing. But if you notice, uh, it changed to close job menu. So I can press F3 again over here to change to close my job menu again. Uh, I found this useful enough because I changed my job a lot. So you don't have to implement the hotbar copy, but uh, if you do, I'll explain how it works. Uh, if I go to, I can use my white mage as an example, actually. Here we go. This is good. Okay. So I unequipped my job stone for my white mage. And now I have my conjure hotbar for uh, like level one uh, without the job stone. Um, so Obviously, it's terrible to actually bring this into a dungeon and perform my duty, um, but I don't play Conjure anymore, so it's fine. Uh, when What I have my command do is if I open up my macro here, um, upon closing the, upon opening this menu, uh, this is my uh, like change job macro. Upon opening this menu, I'm, uh, I'm going to copy this existing hotbar right here to Arcanist 1. Uh, this is the first bar. This is like this bar for the Arcanist job, the top bar. But you can't view it unless you play that class, basically. So we're basically using this as a storage location. I'm going to copy this bar. This is the 9 hotbar. If I go to my HUD right here, it says hotbar 9. So that's how the macro is working. Is we're going to copy hotbar 9 into Arcanist 1. 
this is how we're storing this hotbar because we're about to replace it. And then we're gonna copy hotbar one on the conjurer to share nine. This is called share nine. Um, so this is going to be replacing this. And, um, and then if I ever close job menu or close it through pressing any of the job icons, I want to rewrite this back. Uh, so that means taking Arcanist one where I had it stored and writing back over share nine. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, um, I mean, you don't need to quite understand it. You can just use these macros. Uh, and after you fiddle with it a bit, it might make more sense. Um, that's HUD layouts for you. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you like, if this video helped you, go ahead and give me a like. And also thank you to all the recent subscribers uh, who have joined, uh, subscribed to this channel. It was initially intended to be a channel who that was supposed to help my free company, but you guys have done a stellar job in showing your support and I thank you for that. And I'll look to provide you more content. Uh, if you're interested in that kind of thing, you can go ahead and subscribe as well. Take it easy guys. Love you all. Peace.